Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, before we even hop in anything else, I am so freaking excited. Check this out. I am getting my own video game character in a game. So the game is Jaws of Extinction. For a quick little overview of what it is, it is going to kind of be like a survival open world type game. Not like DayZ and H1Z1 though. It is going to be a tad bit different. They've kind of compared it a bit more to State of Decay and stuff, but... Uh, Let's get back to what matters. Let's get back to the fact that I got a freaking... They've been working pretty closely with them. It's been awesome. They've been great people to work with so far. They got some really cool stuff coming out. And I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more in depth later on in the video. But first, I wanted to show off A, my character in game, which is awesome, and talk about them. And after that, they're actually doing a giveaway and a naming contest. They just released uh, screenshots of a new zombie. And they want you guys to name him. So I'm going to show that off after I'm done showing off the character. But in the meantime time let's talk about my dude and what he's called so his name is marcus gugajan he's the personal lab assistant to dart da la la. dr daniel ludlow where he was working on the fungus investigations that would ultimately become the infection in the game so when his employer Th Th thanatus pharmaceuticals got shut down gugajan disappeared with ludlow and a number of other thanatus employees he's extremely violent but could be a potential ally on Eden Nadir, which is, I, I believe, the island or the area that most of the game is going to be taking place in if you get on the right side of him. Gugaijin has gone, undergone, dot, 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 changes, but he's still human, just about. So that's kind of, you know, hinting towards some pretty cool stuff. I know a little bit more, but that's all that I'm allowed to share with you guys right now. I honestly, I wish I could say more because it's so freaking cool what they got going on. But uh, also a little bit of additional info is that uh, he's a psychopath and he has a gun obsession. And I think I might be voicing him. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see me screaming at the top of my lungs like, Shotgun Raid! You know, I, I totally probably i'm gonna try to convince them to let that happen but along with that here you guys can actually see a little bit of my character's gun stash because uh quite literally like i said he is a gun nut he loves guns he sounds exactly like me which is awesome and here you can see some of the things that he's gonna have available to him and among those if you look closely you can see there's a shotgun in there what appears to be a butane tank or some sort of tank which you know maybe hints towards a little bit of a flamethrower or something like that along with some rifles some shotguns and Overall, this dude is going to be awesome. The full reveal of him right now, you guys only saw him in mask version because the devs gave me the honor of kind of teasing him. I think they're going to be announcing him fully and unveiling him on their Twitter over on Monday. So in a couple days, I'll leave a link there for you guys to go over there and check out if you would like that. But now, on to the naming part. So here you guys are going to be seeing a little bit of a preview. Well, not a preview. This is a pretty full look of this upcoming dude who does not have a name yet and this is what the contest is so i'm making this video letting you guys know about it so all you guys got to do to be entered into this is be a subscriber of me and leave a comment down below in the comment section potentially coming up with an idea for what you think this guy's name should be like literally in game you guys have the chance to name this character now this isn't going to be like a one-off like super unique character there are going to be multiple of them so keep that in mind before you know you call him like bob or something like listen buddy bob that's pretty special but come on we we need a little this has to be like a name that can apply to a lot of people or something like that but anyways uh, accepted entries will be in the comment section and what you guys will be doing is the top of three voted comments from each of uh the content creators because there are a couple different channels actually partaking in this but the top three most voted comments will be uh, go into kind of like the next phase so they will receive early access to the demo when it gets released to like youtubers and streamers and then the top four out of all of the channels because i think there's like five channels participating uh the dev team will pick their favorite four and put it on a twitter poll to be voted on again and the top four will also receive a private alpha steam key on release of the official private alpha and then the top three voted names in the twitter poll want a copy of the game's highest edition the end of the world edition which comes with an early access key for steam early access to the world expansion when that comes out and one extra protagonist unlock so if you guys want a little bit more info about what the uh what this guy is going to do is kind of abilities that he gives off an odor that actually blinds 
finds nearby players and he's very slow moving and those are kind of the only features set in stone about him besides what he's going to look like so take that into account when coming up with the names and hey you know if you guys have any ideas for those names i seriously encourage you to leave them in the comments because you could pretty much win a free copy of the game and all you gotta do is like leave a comment with a cool name if you want maybe add some backstory a little explanation for the uh, for the name that you came up with and you know if you guys are feeling extra awesome extra generous i'd appreciate a ton from the best community in the world is uh, if you could actually go ahead and scroll through the comments a little bit and hit that like button on any names that you guys like because that would be super helpful to make sure that you know us as the star snipe community we come up with the best name possible and then you know you know what i want i want the t i want all the people from my comment section to win that poll so you guys come up with some good names you come up with some great stuff before so i believe in you i know that you can do it but now that all that stuff's out of the way why don't we talk a little bit more about what the game is so i'm gonna be showing you guys the trailer really quickly here now keep in mind this trailer came out a couple months ago it's from uh their kickstarter because they were trying to get the game kickstarted so it's 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 pretty early on in the development process just as a heads up the game will probably end up looking better and whatnot, but I want to say this is a trailer from a couple months ago. It's the most recent one, so sorry I didn't have anything more recent, but I, I can't wait for the demo of this game to come out, man. I'm going to be playing it, that's for sure, but yeah, let's show off that trailer. So while we are also showing off the trailer, I did want to talk about a couple of things. Like I said, this is not going to be like DayZ or H1Z1. Also, here's the thing I was talking about. Eden Nadir, I believe, is going to be kind of like the prison island slash prison area it is going to take place on. But it's not going to be like DayZ or H1Z1. The devs compared it more to like a Red Dead Witcher State of Decay type of deal. Look at that. Oh, big hit on the face. Flaming zombies. I love flaming zombies, dude. Zombies should always be on fire. Oh, Look at those sparks raining down, but there's also going to be an open world landscape of 67 kilometers squared, which is slightly bigger than the island on Ark. Also, apparently there's going, well, there's obviously going to be flames. My dude's going to have the flamethrower. I'm going to be an NPC in the game as well. Look at that, blocking off doors and stuff. That's a pretty cool mechanic, but I'm going to be an NPC in game. Oh, oh, is he jumping? Yeah, he's jumping to kind of bash some brains in. I like what I see. <laughs> I like what I see. Like I was saying, it's going to be slightly bigger than the island on Ark. It's going to have main story, quests, and world events. Ooh, a slide. Ooh, a little bit of a climb. Single player and multiplayer are going to be coming further down the line. A free prologue demo is coming out soon, so you guys can try it before you buy it. And it is going to be releasing eventually on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. There are going to be cars, boats, aircraft, horses, quad bikes, and more, along with vehicle parts, repairs, armor and some special stuff like eagle taming which can kind of end up being used as a drone and kind of slash companions there's gonna be crafting base building like rust prefab claiming safe zones run by npc characters so kind of maybe my guy himself will be running a safe zone a large variety of wildlife and even the ability to freaking hijack trains and plan ambushes of the enemy so they really do have a ton of really cool stuff and ideas lined up and i cannot wait to see where the game goes with them and along with that i will be playing it like i said when it does come out but i didn't want to say huge thank you to you guys for making this possible if it isn't for you guys being the awesome community that you are i this would never happen i would not be in a freaking survival game of all things so you know if you guys do try out for top i mean hey the demo you know there's gonna be a demo it is going to it is going to be free you guys are gonna have access to it so you guys don't even have to buy the game you guys can try it if you like the demo you can end up potentially buying it later on but what I'm saying is that, you know, hopefully you'll be able to see me in game and be like, yo, we made that happen. So I just wanted to seriously express my gratitude and be like, for real, guys, thank you for making this something as awesome as this possible. So many insane things have been happening lately. I went to Gamescom for Germany last week. That is 100% because of you guys, because of uh, not just you guys, because of the best community in the world. All right. That's how I should refer to you guys. Not you guys, the best community in the world, because that's exactly what you freaking are so again a huge thank you for just all this awesome stuff that you guys are able to come to fruition make happen and i'm insanely thankful for it so for real thank you guys round of applause for yourselves you better start clapping maybe you can hear me clap i don't know you better be clapping for yourselves though maybe if you put a clap emoji in the comments i'll i'll know that you were clapping but but for real number one priority of the comments should be putting in the names and stuff because i want you guys to win stuff and also for us it's the star Slime community to have like everything 
named after us here. All right, we got to dominate this game. We need everything named after us, but uh, for real, thank you guys a whole ton. I actually just finished moving into uh, school, so if I sound a bit different, the audio setup's a bit different. Also, that's the reason uh, there might not be another seven days video today just because I got to get back into the schedule. Uh, I spent like three hours trying to figure out my audio. It was the stupidest thing yesterday. But uh, yeah, more than that, starting school in a couple days. So hopefully I can still do in two vids a day. Sometimes it might be one, but hopefully I never drop to zero because then I would betray my own name of Star Snipe Daily videos. But other than that, that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm wishing you guys nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world. For real, I hope your day is amazing. If it's not... I hope it gets more amazing, and if it doesn't, I hope tomorrow is more amazing than that, all right? I hope tomorrow sets up a good path of being amazing. That's going to wrap it up for me. Wrap it up for me. English is hard. I don't know. I guess I'm getting used to the new place and everything. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.